so these are the arborvitaes that I have lining um, the front yard right next to the road here. And as you can see, they're wrapped in nice burlap fabric and tied up with some string. I've done this for the last three years. Yeah, three, four years. And um, they're still relatively small, but I burlap these next to the road because we live in a very cold area during the winter time. And they're right next to the road, so they get a lot of wind burn if they are not covered properly. And the salt that comes from the salt trucks um, really damages these trees as well. So another thing that I do when I am burlapping these is I make sure to go in and I clean all around the root ball area and get out all the leaves and everything like that and then put a nice layer of mulch down, a nice thick layer. And that just helps protect the roots and um, just helps protect them in general. Uh, keeps those root systems nice and snuggled in for the winter time. So the burlap that I normally get is um, just regular burlap fabric. Sometimes I get it at Joann's if it's on sale or um, Walmart, wherever I can get it. I normally save it, uh, fold it up and save it and then just get more obviously as they get bigger and bigger. can see I got all the fabric taken off and all of the arbs look very healthy and green. I'm so happy because it's all it's very like nerve-wracking leaving them throughout the entire winter covered up. You don't know what condition they're in and like I said I've had to replace a few of these um, so far because of taking them off too early and then having an ice storm or whatever happens. So I'm just so happy with what I'm seeing. So anyways, I am going to be fertilizing these now. And this is what I am using for my fertilizer. Um, I've used this for the last two seasons. It's worked out great. Um, it's for trees, shrubs, and evergreens. And this has worked out really well for me. sunny day like oh my gosh I am loving it I needed this sunshine so I wanted to show you actually first these baskets that I got from Walmart um, I've had these for a while now just put them up but these are I think 15 bucks but I got four of them for our back patio here and they're really nice very sturdy and um yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'm going to do a lot of purple tones this year and um, some nice greenery in these. Have the greenery draping down and then um, some beautiful like petunias or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, definitely purple, white, cream tones for my flowers. And over here, these are my old baskets. And, you know, they don't have anything in them right now, but... Um, you know, these are sturdy too. Not as nice as my other ones. These are old. So, um, I'm just going to plant those up again, have some nice greenery draping down, just really make this nice and showy over here. I know it kind of looks dumb right now, but once some flowers are in there, it's going to look pretty good. And then down in here, this is very 
very exciting for me. So you can see this little stem right here, that one right there, that one's dead. And then this one right here too. Those are David Austin roses. Those are cuttings that I got from one of my clients. And, you know, I just wanted to test it out and see if it would actually work just by putting them in the ground and seeing if they would root out before winter time. And they are. I'm going to have David Austin roses. Like, what the heck? That's going to look so stinking good once they start growing. And I'm going to intertwine them into that fencing. It's going to look amazing. And then I have some tulips coming up there over here i have a video on me planting all of these i have daffodils um over here and all of these are pretty much tulips that i keep in here but yeah these ones are white daffodils i think these are called ice king so these are going to be extremely beautiful and just give us that colorful uh spring flowers that we are wanting everything is just popping out of dormancy now and trying to put on some growth see these are the arbs that i have back here they are so beautiful green luscious these have done amazing i don't have to wrap these um every year i don't have to wrap them at all because they are well protected back here they don't get hit with the elements that um the ones up front do you know these are tucked really nicely back here but oh these have just done so well i am so thrilled and these have been here i think for about four seasons now no yeah three four seasons uh this one is taller than me this one's as tall as me and that's a little baby one and the only reason why they are different sizes they all get the same amount of sun but the only reason why they are different sizes is because i bought them different sizes <laughs> they um were not the same height when i bought them so they're all growing at their own rate but they are doing amazing and then you can see the boxwoods right here uh, putting on some a little bit of new growth cannot wait until these get big enough i want them all to touch and then i'm gonna bring them all together trim them down and i'll have a beautiful boxwood hedge lining that cute little pathway there and then yeah the pond is not frozen anymore it's looking good got some nice grasses in here too that are starting to flush out new growth you can even see some of the new leaves that are popping up with these black eyed Susan. I'm just walking back to my garden bed right now, my small one here, because I want to show you the garlic that I planted in the fall time. And um, it's just really exciting because you don't know what's going on the whole winter and you're relying on these to work out. And it did. So I'm gonna have to get up close here so you can see but look at oh, all the little sprouts coming through one right there one right there so it doesn't look like any of the elephant garlic is coming in yet i don't really know what to expect like i said um this last year was my first year growing this and I am just waiting it out. I don't know what to expect, but I know I'm going to have a ton of garlic. So I'm excited for that regardless. All right, so now we're heading over to the shed area right across the way. And you can see some work is being done over here. I'm actually going to be working on this today since it's such a beautiful day. But this is going to be my brand new garden area. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna be so amazing. This is gonna be for planting, um, maybe some perennials, maybe just annuals on both sides here. And then directly behind that, right there will be a post, right there, and I'll have beautiful fencing that'll go in front of this on both sides. 
and then this is going to be the entryway and I would love to have a nice little archway right in here or a nice little um, gate I don't know yet I'm just gonna see as I go and the fence is gonna be more for looks um, really we don't have a huge pest problem here we live out in the boonies so the deer actually stay really close to that wooded area out there so they don't come out far they do come out and we see them but they stay pretty much near the wooded area so if we deal with anything i guess it might be bunnies you know rabbits raccoons any of that but really i'm not gonna have to deal with that i haven't had an issue in my yard yet and i can plant anything really um, the only issue I had back here was when I planted my blueberry bushes and raspberry bushes right there. And then something kept digging them up, but I think it was our cats, like our neighbor's cats or something. I don't know. But uh, the owl worked great and nothing has touched them since. So that has been wonderful. So then on the inside of the garden, I am going to be putting um, raised beds. So this is all going to be fabric right here. And... It's gonna have rock pathways through it. And I'm thinking that I'll be able to fit six raised beds in this area, depending on the size. I don't know yet. I really, it's gonna take a lot of work getting this all cleaned up in here, but that is my plan. So my dream garden. <laughs> all right, so I know it wasn't like um, a super dramatic video, but uh, you know, I'm kind of limited on what I can film nowadays. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful quarantine. Stay safe and stay healthy. Have a good day, guys. Bye.